Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as Poland. And we have conquered Brazil. Now it's time to go for some more South American states. Like uh, you. Uruguay. You, Argentina. Paraguay. Bolivia. Peru. Mm, Chile I don't have a border with, but let's let's get it on as well. Right, Ecuador. Colombia. Venezuela. That means a lot of oil. And that will be it, because the rest are allies. Yeah, that will be so beautiful once our troops arrive. Also, um, since we have changed our economy, it's time to adjust the trade, because... Should I cancel all the trade and just... Yeah, let's just cancel all the... Tr mm, no, let's, let's have a look first. Um, that will be where? Production? Yes, we have 71 excess oil. Um, and we're buying 200, so let's not cancel oil. Uh, we have 81 excess rubber, and we're buying, that's rubber here, we're importing 260, so let's not do that either. I mean, I could cancel some. Let's, let's have an excess, maybe. No, let's, let's not buy it from the Netherlands for now. Steel, we're, oh, surplus, 500. Interesting. How much steel am I buying? I am buying 200 steel, so let's cancel that. Uh, what else? Production. Tungsten. We have tons of tungsten. And we have tons of aluminum. 300, 500, 300. Uh, all right. 300. Mm, oh, we're importing quite a lot of chromium. But we can't get rid of all of it. Let's just keep the ones that we buy from China. For now. Right. Uh, tungsten. We don't need any more tungsten. Oh, the, the surplus is also displayed here. <laughs> I should have looked at that. And what else? Aluminium. I'm not importing it. Let's unpause and, let, and see if it changes. We have a little bit of a surplus everywhere and that is acceptable. Perfect! We're getting all the resources that we need. And that means we have freed up a lot of factories. So we can build all the airfields that I started building. Repair all this stuff. That will take a long time still, but yeah, it's better. Infrastructure, air bases, all that stuff. Okay, you guys are all traveling to South America. Let's just let them do that for a while. Also, do I have war goals against you? I need war goals against you. Once again, just for war goal against Nepal. Just for war goal again. Oh, I already do have a war goal against you. So that means I don't have to wait for the truce. I'll just move you. Let's cancel your plans. Move you over here. And declare war right away. I mean, when you have arrived there. And the rest are being transported. Yeah, the justifications will take a while, but that will be sufficient time for my troops to arrive. And I really don't need uh, support in South America, I think. Um, it will be a difficult terrain for my uh, tank brigades, which I have a lot of. Right, I should probably modify some of my division templates, um, adding some, well that's not the screen, but adding some support divisions like the logistics company that we are researching currently. I think I might even add it everywhere. Uh, brings revolution to Bolivia, sure, do that. 
actually, it makes me think, should I just add... Questions the motives of Nepal, yes. Should I just add engineering companies and support artilleries and stuff like that to the companies that we're already using? Will that not consume all my manpower? Because it does use a bit of manpower. I could go for higher conscription rates, I guess. We have service by requirement. We could scrape the barrel or have all adults, adults serve. I think scraping the barrel is a bad idea, but all adults serve could be a good one. Right, um, so our troops have started arriving. They're suffering a bit of attrition, probably because they're all in the same province. So, you're the biggest army. Where should I put you? Or should I just uh, divide them into as many armies as we need when they arrive? Maybe that. I'll just let them arrive. They'll suffer attrition for a little while. Big whoop. I guess at least I can... Oh, advanced landing craft. That is going to be useful. At least I can move you to a adjacent province. Or just... Oh, yeah. Garrison an area. So hey, you will get dispersed. You won't suffer too much attrition. Was uh, Gumuka angered by Paraguay posturing? Oh, we have a research slot available. Yeah, I just did research the transport s uh, ships. Upgrade. Should I get better destroyers? Possibly. I still don't know what they're good against. Shore bombard. Ooh, that's nice. Still don't know how to use navy effectively. Radars are being researched. Do I need to finish off the air doctrines? I could. Sure. Oh, I'm already researching that. <laughs> Never mind. I think it's now time to research the super strategic bomber, maybe. Or... Or get some more support. Port, like good artillery. Should I get good artillery? I probably should get a good artillery. And then all add all the support battalions and stuff. That will require me to produce a lot of artillery, but yeah, we have tons of factories. I could change some tanks, because we do have a big excess of modern tanks that we don't need. Uh, at least through war there will be an end to this conflict. Well, I'm fabricating the conflict, so it's not really... Not really a conflict. Okay, you have arrived, you have arrived. You have arrived, you are on the other continent. You, where are you? You have arrived. Okay, you're the last one arriving. No, you might be the last one arriving. Where are you? You're still on your way. Far, far away. Hmm. Should I wait for them? How long until my war goals are justified? 60 days. I guess I could wait a bit. It's not gonna take them a month to sail here. Will it? It shouldn't. Oh, that's my best guy. How am I not using him for everything? Hmm. Lots of airfields, lots of missiles. Oh, bloody hell. France has so many troops. God damn it. How? Well, I guess they probably have more manpower than me, but still. That's a bloody lot of troops. Hmm. I'm considering, I mean, I'm considering fighting the Allies, but that might be a battle I cannot win. Infiltration, infiltration bombing. Uh, skirmish. I mean, I will have tons of atomic bombs, so if I get enough jet fighters in the air, I could just bomb someone into extinction. If I could get air superiority. I wonder how many planes they have. 
Can I see their airfields and what their planes are like? Capacity zero. Doesn't really say, but probably they have a lot. If I just concentrated on one of them, we might be fine. Alright, let's get back here. Uh, you should probably stop exercising now. They're still quite a long way off. Oh, I guess I could... I could land you in Panama. Can I? Is there a port on this side of the crossing? I don't think I can do that. Okay, let's just wait for him to arrive. Also, whose is that? Is that Ecuador? Yes, but it doesn't have victory points. Right, let's get you here. I guess I could just keep it as one army and keep advancing through all the countries. It could work out. I'm, I'm curious how this will work out. I think I'll try it. I'll just, you know, I'll just do a front line here. Um, first I'll do a defensive line so they can um, deploy without having to be a front line with the border of a single country. Then I will switch it to a front line once the wars are declared. And then I will do uh, the offensive line order that will incorporate all of the continent. That could be useful, we'll see. I'm very curious how that will work out. So are you, are you actually doing your job? Oh crap, I forgot to declare war. Hm. Yeah, I can do that. That's not gonna take long. They have two provinces. They've joined the Afghanistan coalition. If they can call someone in, good for me. Or maybe not good for me, because I might need to invade them yet again. Also, you should probably get a plan, just to get the initial bonus. Execute it as soon as you can. It's taking them forever to get there. Well, maybe not forever. We can wait. Okay, Bhutan has surrendered. I'm going to take everything. One less... Oh, we have seized a lot of equipment. One less state to worry about. Uh, here's a front line. Invade. Do the job. Right, how long until the war goal is justified? Um, 34 days, and we got some new military factories. Oh, I, I still don't have Light Tanks 3. Okay, let's get you some more artillery and... Just some more artillery. No national focus set. Yes, I know. I really can't decide what I want. Poland first is nice. It just gives us national unity and a faction of our own. Um, whereas those are nicer, for example, uh, military youth is amazing because it gives you more uh, population you could recruit. However, that would lock us sort of into the authoritarian and in that case fascist regime, which I don't think I really like. Hmm. So you can see my, you can see my dilemma and my choice to not pick a focus. But I still get that. Silesia fortified thing. Uh, I don't want that, it's not useful to us. Let's continue. The political power is worth more. Right, I'm going to try the single army approach and see if it's better than the multi-army approach. Also, this guy has very, very high stats. We'll crush, yes, we will crush the bourgeois dictatorship together. And we have 40 atomic bombs, 40 nuclear bombs. Um, I will have to invade Mexico and so on mm, through naval invasions. 
And so the same thing with Cuba. So there will be some fiddling with that. I build some new ships. Still don't know how to use carriers. They just count as an airport. Oh, it seems like it. Yes, yes, they do. Oh, well, that's amazing. Um, let's get better carriers then, because they really sound cool. Naval carrier. And we have completed the logistics company research. Do I want to get more of that? Well, the decreases supply usage, which would um, limit attrition. So it sounds like a very good idea. I guess I could do that. Right, so, mm, what ships I can only carry a naval bomber? Is that the... Wait a minute. I have normal fighters as well. Is the only thing that can work there? I can believe that. Wait a minute, maybe, maybe just the better carriers can carry better ships, uh, better planes, rather. Let's have a look. Um, carry aircraft. Mm, carry designs, must ensure these ships, yada yada. Does it say deck size? How many planes a carrier can fit? All oh, right. Port capacity two. Reliability, deck size 70, deck size 85, so I did do a lot of, how can this not be stationed there? It does have the option of being stationed on a carrier. Oh, is that because they're too far from the planes? No, it shouldn't be that. Let's see the logistics. How many naval bombers do I have? I have 1,000 naval bombers. Maybe they're just too far away. Maybe the carriers are just too far away from my regular airfields. What if I just move you to Lisbon? Let's see if I will be able to deploy the fighters from there. Then we'll see. This is a jet fighter, so we couldn't use them there. Okay, has the army arrived yet? Yes, it has. Okay. So, I have an idea, which is probably a bad one. I'm going to select all of my units in South America. All of them. And assign them to this single army. 200 divisions. Now what we're going to do is cancel all the orders you might have. And I, uh, as you'll see, I can't do a front line against many countries at the same time. But what I could do is form a defensive line, or fallback line if you prefer. That goes like this. Uh, although it will be a lot of drawing. Maybe not a lot of drawing, because those are large provinces. Just into the adjacent provinces. Why well, does it skip this province? Alright, that's better. Okay, let's, let's try to cancel that. I have to backtrack a bit for this to work. And they will sort of form a front line, which really isn't a front line. And then I will be able to easily, you know, make a front line out of this. It'll take them some time to get there because it's jungle and stuff like that. 
Okay. Oh, perfect. We have um, the justifications that we need. No, but I don't have armies in position, so how long until this expires? 17th of June. Great. So that's what we're going to do. Also, did my justification against uh, Nepal finish? No, not just yet. Almost. And Oman? Not yet. Yemen? Not yet. Alright, we'll declare the wars in the next episode. For now, thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy the video, and we're gonna end here. Thanks again. See you in three hours.